seven, six. Hey guys, this is John. I'm playing the Sicilian Defense Bullet Arena on LeadChess.org. We're about to start with 37 players. This is a thematic tournament. This is the starting position each time. And I am playing I'm a Dirty Cheater in the first game. This guy's super fast. He's actually going berserk in the first game. I'm going to win this game, though. I'm not going to lose to I'm a Dirty Cheater. <laughs> I know he has tremendous bullet skills, but this is a different type of arena. And I'm going to make a point not to lose to him. That's the most important thing. Uh, does that work tactically? We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to take here and try to win material, I guess. But I don't know how this is turning out, because he's got quite a good position already. Okay, let's go back here. Yeah, he just plays, like, instantly. This is, like, a really strange player. Sometimes he plays instantly, but he also makes blunders. So, I'm never really, like, like that's a good indication right there, or a good example, let's say. He just blundered that away completely. Just gave up his queen for no reason, so unnecessary and he's probably going to lose as a result provided i don't mess up big time so let's just guard this one and then bring our king up a little bit we're going to make a pass pawn uh i can take that no problem let's give a check then we're going to get behind the pawn make sure he doesn't give us any awkward checks and then advance this pawn Go and attack that rook. All right, do this and then promote very shortly. Okay, so we win that game. It looks like bishop takes h4 actually was working for him, but he didn't have a lot of time, and he just dropped the queen inexplicably down the stretch. So yeah, that's the starting position, uh, mainline Nidorf. Obviously, I'm going to be playing that as black too, so I'm going to try a little of everything. Maybe we'll get some like uh, different sidelines that you wouldn't see in... Blitz or even standard. All right, let's berserk this game. So it's it's Lavaz's move. I gotta wait for them. <laughs> so we're ber berserking a thematic tournament. I guess you do get a little bit further into the game by berserking in a thematic tournament. So there is something to be said for doing it, maybe. Okay, let's go d5. This is usually a good move if Black can achieve it in the Sicilian. And now the d file has a chance to become open. And I really like the play that we're going to generate out of this. Let's go here, see if they want to take. And then I guess I'll play something like this and try to support that pawn. Although they can take out Passant and then take e4, but they don't. All right, Lavaz. Let's see if he just wants to swap. Nope. 20 seconds to 35. Maybe an eventual g5? Who knows? Okay, let's, let's dive in here. See if I can probe this pawn and maybe threaten to take and do some damage. I want this knight to move so I can take f4. That would be nice. Now I'm going to try for b4 just to squeeze them a little bit. Yeah, now we get this in and we're going to attack this guy. Let's take that. Uh, whoa. Okay, let's go here just to safeguard. I have 10 seconds left. i got to hurry. Let's go here. I want f4. f4 would be very nice. Don't get checkmated, John. Oh, no. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get mated, but this is a little scary. I have to be completely honest. Okay, let's bring this up. Now we're going to support this, and then we're going to go f4. Um, okay, that was a mistake in view of what they just did there. Let's get this up. Ah, they're playing well. Let's go this check. Oops. Stop playing so well, Lavaz. Oh, no. Take that. I'm out of time. Maybe not. Let's take their last pawn. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost on time. I should have just taken their last pawn. I was focusing on just getting a move up. But, all right, so we lose to Lavaz. They had a question mark next to their game, so maybe berserking them wasn't the smartest thing. But, all right, we're going to berserk against, again against Feli Racing 1405 and see how this turns out. Okay, let's just go with the F pawn. And maybe I can get in a quick E5. What is that move? All right, <laughs> I'm taking that free knight. And then we're going to drop back here. And then we're going to take that queen that's on offer to us. Okay, and we're going to keep taking stuff. And then take on g7 next, probably. I'm confident in my ability not to mess up this position. <laughs> so I think we can expect a win. 
provided I don't do something too rash. Okay, take here. F7 is hanging. This looks very bad for Feli Racing. Take this one. Knight takes d5 coming. Give a check. Probably king back to a7. Nope, king out to the middle. Let's come here and attack that rook. Take the free rook. All right, I'm just going to pre-move a little bit. Just to make absolutely certain we don't lose on time. Give a check here. Go take this guy. Check again. If I can make a move. I think I have them animating that now. G3 next move. Okay, back to tournament. So how are we shaping up here? We're in sixth place with five points. French and Slav. Casablanca. Figure and Schlecker. All guys in the mix. Not going to berserk this game. Saros 84, 1943. Let's play knight g4. A Kasparov favorite. Now there's a famous line that goes bishop c1. And then uh, knight back to f6. And it can be a repetition. But Saros is just giving up the dark square bishop. A pretty dubious decision, I think. Uh, I'm not going to take on d4, even though that wins a pawn. I don't want to open lines for them unnecessarily. So we're going to play it like this. And it's like a it's like a dragon on steroids for black. This is really what this line is looking like. That was a bad move by me. I didn't have to play in a queen b6. I want to get this knight on d4 now. I should have just taken it instead of going queen b6. Uh, okay, let's take this way, because after we take back, we're getting c2, aren't we? Okay, so let's do that. They can come in with their queen. Oh, they dropped their queen. I was going to say, they can come in with their queen and maybe cause some damage. But now, it is just downhill. Let's just take. Even though they can take with check, it's not going to hurt us whatsoever. Um, I'll just go here. Actually, there's rook c1 even. <laughs> Could have played rook c1 on the previous move. So, uh, seventh place now. Seven points. We're on a berserk streak. I'm a dirty cheater has been probably berserking every game. Or close to it. And they are struggling. French and Slav, who featured in my last All Berserks video. They're in the mix. Figure in Schlecker. Okay, I'm going to stick with Bishop G5. Actually, E5 is kind of dubious, or it's supposed to be at least. Let's do this. So now black has a compromised pawn structure already. Um, let's just go Bishop E2. I'm going to develop normally. We'll go Queen D3. Why not? And then Castle. I think they're going to want to get rid of this knight. This is a excellently posted knight for white. King b1 is almost always useful in Sicilian positions, I've come to find. Um, let's go f4. Why not? Let's just open this wing. Black has a lot of light square weaknesses now. That should be apparent. Let's play c3. If b4, probably c4. Uh, okay, let's just do this and keep the position closed for now. h7 is hanging. I, I want to go take that pawn. And now I will. Let's do this. I could probably just run my h-pawn, to be quite honest. I'm not worried about anything opening up here. We can keep the position closed. Let's just run this baby. Hmm. Let's go here, threaten queen d7. And if they play queen d8, I can promote, actually. So let's do this. If Okay, so now I get a check, and I'm going to win a bunch of pawns. And at the very end, I can promote by doing this and win the game. All right, so we dispatched figure in Schlechter, Schlecker. Fourth place, not that much separation between Casablanca and us. Maximus is the next opponent. What's he gonna throw at us? Okay, so let's play e6. I don't really know these lines too well. This is the English attack. This is one of the more dangerous tries at White's disposal. They seem to know what they're doing, which concerns me. Okay, I'm gonna go like kind of brute force and attack this knight and just see how they react. <laughs> I know that's not theory, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Sorry to use a hackneyed over, overused saying. You got to do what you got to do. Okay, let's play the knight into c5. Hmm, well, it's castle. Maybe bishop f6 coming soon. This looks pretty ideal. Yeah, why not right now? Hunt down that queen, right? Uh, take that, definitely. Now they're kind of at our mercy on the dark squares. So let's go here, and I have a plan of just knight a4. Knight a4 and into c3. The old check. At the very least, we'll win that rook. So yeah, let's let's go gather that. 
Uh, let's play queen here, attack the knight. h4 is actually hanging too. Maybe that would be good to take. Now I can just take here. I can pretty much ignore their attack on f7. There isn't much of an attack to speak of anyways. Yeah, this is going to be winning for us. I'm just going to move my king out of the way. If they take f7, we can play rook takes. And they're tied to c2 anyways, so nothing doing there. Let's just go and take that g5 pawn. I don't think there's a problem in doing this. Let's go here. Uh, rook g1, that was hanging. Uh, okay, let's play a5. He's continuing on. He's soldiering on here. Let's go here, look for a4. And he resigned. So third place now. Bunch of people on a streak, though. And Deep Feller is in the mix. Wow, Deep Feller's rating took a tumble. All right, Lavaz is clearly underrated. They're at 2174 now. So let's handle with care. I mean, I think this player is definitely beatable, but that Berserk game last time uh, came probably prematurely. I wasn't aware of their strength, let's say. <laughs> so I might take and then put my bishop on c6. This is how you often treat these positions. So yeah, let's do this, and then we're attacking this pawn. So probably bishop f3, but now we can go for e5. I think this bodes well for black. I don't have a ton of experience in these structures, but I kind of have an idea what happens, and if I can establish a knight on e5, this is usually good. So let's play for that. Maybe I'll even put my bishop here first. Let's attack that pawn and then go bishop in. I'll try to capitalize on this time advantage I currently have. This is very nice. Let's go here. Now I'm threatening stuff like this. Kind of a discovery. We'll get the knight in with tempo on the queen. And position with bishops of opposite color, but a nice one for black because look at how stable that bishop is. I'm going to do a little minority attack, actually. I'm going to go for b4 out of this. I'm not really worried about what white's doing over here. I don't think it hurts me whatsoever. In fact, it might only hurt white. What's happening? This pawn is now hard to defend. I think I can just take this. Do I want to, though? Rook b1? Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Let's just go back. Uh, maybe queen f4 would have been good, actually. Let's avoid the trade. Hmm. Now let's bring this queen over, and I don't see... Like, that's kind of hard to defend, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna... Well, I guess I'll just trade. Why not? I think we're winning that pawn eventually, so I don't mind swapping down a bit. Lavaz is keeping everything covered, but I'm not too worried about anything they're doing here. Okay, I'm going to give a check, and then I'm going to go take this pawn. And the time is going to do them in. It's the main thing. Just go take that for simplicity's sake. All right, we got him. So 19 points, Casablanca still in first with 24, lots of time left though, 13 minutes. French and Slav, Deep Feller, Deep Feller hasn't taken a loss. Kaisa Sose in the mix. What's up, Penguin Nam? How you doing? All right, Nico is next. Let's play Rook G1. This is a weird move. Preparing G4. <laughs> Let's see how they react. I've heard this referred to as the stoplight variation before. We have a ready-made pawn storm on the king side. Well, let's go knight d5. They're just asking for knight d5. Okay, now we, we storm with the pawns. This is looking fun. Black is in full retreat mode right now. Uh, okay, let's... Mm, okay, I guess I'll take here first. They were attacking my e4 pawn. Let's go with these pawns. f6, I guess. Okay, queen d2. They can maybe stick a knight in here. So I'm going to just play to stop that. Whoa, that's a queen. That is a free queen, and actually it's checkmate on the next move. Bishop takes c5 after king e7. So with that victory, we catapult ourselves into second place. And Casablanca cruising right along, though. All right, Devon 12. Let's try the stoplight variation again and go for g4. No berserk this time. But we are on the way. I guess they got to play knight g8. They don't have any other squares for their knight. That's unfortunate for black. The stoplight variation claiming... One victim already. Can it claim two? What are you going to do about this, Devon? I'm coming at you. I'm sending all my pawns in. And I don't know if opening the center is a good idea for black. We'll find out. I'm going to post the bishop on g2 and attack d5. This is a lot of fun. i got to say I'm enjoying this Sicilian defense, Nidorf-themed bullet arena. Hmm, that's a check, but I'll just go here. I'm attacking that rook. Uh, okay, let's go b4. Not sure where I'm going to put my king necessarily, but for the moment, 
I don't think I have to make that determination because now I win one of their rooks. Yeah, good old fork right here. Uh, let's just take it straight away. Give a check again. Hunt down that king. All right. Let's castle with check. Always nice. Always fun. Let's go here and attack that pawn. And now this is a runaway A pawn. Not much black can do to deal with that. We can keep pushing too. Queen coming up. Queen incoming. All right, let's take that. They've got a couple checks, but that's about it. And then it's good night. So black resigns. All right, I'm staying with rook g1. <laughs> I found my pet variation for the tournament. <laughs> they don't seem to know how to react to it. Jupek is the next opponent. Haven't played them for a while. I have a 9-0 score. I don't think I have to berserk. There's plenty of time left, and we're in second place. Looking for a showdown with Casablanca. Okay, that's not a move that you usually see. Bishop d3. It undefends the knight on d4, so I think that's the deficiency of it. Let's go here. And they take. So now I feel like I'm going to get good play. I might take over the center. Probably they'll trade. Nope, they're going to sack a pawn. That pawn sack looks dubious to me. Because what is white's follow-up? What is their compensation? Um, let's just bring this knight back here. I guess they're going to send the knight into g5, maybe. But I still don't really see the compensation. Um, maybe an attack here on g6. Yeah, I guess I sort of understand what they're getting at, but I just I don't believe it. And they hung mate. Okay, so that was a fortunate early victory for us. 31 points now. A quick one. And Casablanca took a loss to Just Kid. Hello to you, Ben. Just Kid. He's in the mix. All right, Lion Mind. Rook G1. Let's do this thing. Maybe they'll stop it with H5. You never know. H5 is probably not a bad idea. Now we've transposed into like a, a carries attack. A line like that. I'm going to keep going with the pawns. Might as well, right? Um, let's drop this guy back all the way. Might as well play g6, right? I see no issues with that. If they take, I could take, but I think even better to um, maybe just leave the pawn there. That would have been an option. Okay, let's... Knight uh, d5 is no good. Let's go a4. They might put the knight in on c4, though, is the only thing. Maybe I should be more prepared for that. Okay, this loses a pawn. I feel this has to be very dangerous for them. Let's take with the knight. And if they take, I would assume that um, queen takes d5 looking to come into f7 would be very strong for me. Okay, as played, I'm just going to uh, defend my extra pawn for now. Maybe queen g4 coming. They might want to play f5 for that reason to try to generate some play. As it stands, I think I should check and then maybe castle. Um, but in castling, I would drop the f2 pawn, so I better come back here. Hmm, let's just defend that. I would really like to get castled. Okay, so now I'm going to castle. He's going to go after that pawn. Uh, okay, a5. Maybe I can... Maybe he'll swap the queens. He does. My d pawn could be a bother. We should probably push that while we still can, right? Okay, let's go here. He's going to bring his king up. Let's go here just to try to blockade his pawns nicely. Um, okay, let's go here. King e4 I'm looking for. He's kind of stuck. Let's take over the file. Um, and let's go back here now. Little time for both players. Oh, no. Whoa. Okay, we both dropped something there. <laughs> Okay, take that. Very little time for him. It's not stalemate him, though. Okay. Back to tournament. So we vanquish Lion Mind. Rook G1 claims another body. Add to the body count of the stoplight variation. <laughs> Someone's trying to play from the phone browser. That seems difficult. French and Slav. Okay. We're staying on this train until it throws us off. Let's drop back, knight b3. The rook looks so silly on g1. Obviously, I can't castle on the king side, but we make do. Okay, let's take and then play knight d5. I think it's favorable to capture right away. I'm going to get the queen out. Okay, I'll play f3. 
They might castle long, but if they do, I have bishop takes a6. So, okay, let's play c3 just to kind of secure things. Hmm. Swap. If I can get my bishop in, I'm happy. This looks all right. I like this position, even though it's an endgame. Okay, let's get the king out of the way. Not sure black wants to play h3, really. I mean, I wouldn't be chomping at the bit to play that move if I were him. I'm also not sure I should have put my pawn there. It's probably okay, however. Okay, let's bring this up. Hmm, he takes. I don't like that decision. That seems like a strategic mistake, because now I have a very nice blockade on d5 and it's going to be tough for him to combat that so maybe i can get knight c4 in in the future um for the moment actually i probably should play for this huh that's a good move okay let's take and then bring the knight into e4 i was looking for ways to try to create counterplay but this might be the best one so let's just win a pawn probably he's going to take there he does He's got to go after my weak kingside pawns more than likely, so I'm going to try to cover that. Let's go here, attack this guy. Um, I think I can take there. Let's bring this back. Go attack e5. He can go after h2, but this is a runaway pawn, is it not? So we're going to do this, and then we're going to support this guy. And my two pawns are stronger than his one. Yeah, so French and Slav ran out of time there. We're three points off the lead. I'm a dirty cheater is next, and he's berserking again. <laughs> All right. Well, let's take care here. What's he going to throw at us? He plays bishop e3. Let's go knight g4 and just bother him a little bit. We're going to play this hold. Okay, well, he just blundered already because... Um, okay, let's go e5. Blundering again. <laughs> This guy's such a wild card, I swear. Like, he plays at light speed, but, yeah, like I said, he, he's just prone to uh, making egregious blunders just right away in a game. Okay. Um, all right, we'll just retreat. We don't really have to do too much here. I'm going to play this move. And then we're going to go here. Defend that pawn. Threaten some little mate activity. Uh, okay, knight c5 looks good. Bring the knight in here. No back rank threats are there. Let's just cover that just to make sure. Uh, I can take. He can take f6 and then take there, but we're forcing simplifications. And he also like trades down at random times too. Like why would you trade on e8? Because now you have no chance whatsoever. So I don't get it. <laughs> but he kind of does his thing. That's how I'm a dirty cheater plays. Don't question it. And we got the checkmate. So, him blundering two pieces and also berserking helped a lot in that game. <laughs> Casablanca is still right in there. We haven't played that player yet. They're th only three points away. I mean, I hope I'm not in a position where I have to berserk in the final game. Yorkville. All right, stoplight variation. I'm not going to berserk this one. 2104. That's a little close. I think I should just play to try to win. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, bishop e2. We'll just develop. I'm not going to take on c5 yet. We're just going to start this little kingside initiative. Look for h5. He can play b4, but then knight d5, and I'm kind of eyeing... Um, well, let's go knight d5 anyways. He can't take here because I have bishop b6. That's important. Okay, he's going to fall for it. This might not be so bad for black. Like They'll get some compensation after queen c8 and then taking on a8. So it's not terrible. I mean, I've seen much, much worse before. Okay, he takes... Um, let's go bishop here. I know they can do this, but I'm thinking I might have good play if we can trade the dark square bishops, let's say. Uh, the knight coming into d4 is a bit annoying, isn't it? Knight d4 is a potential issue. I should probably castle now. It's a nifty little castles. Okay, so I'm going to give up b3, but let's hope that my position is good enough where it doesn't matter. My queen is really out of play, though, right now. I need to get that back in the game ASAP. Okay, so let's take here, and then, assuming that they take on d8, I get to go rook d1 check, at least. My queen is still annoyingly out of play. 
let's take... Hmm. Let's go here. I'm trying for queen h8. And that might be the opening we needed. I think I'm forcing mate now. As I go to f6, and if rook king h7, I have rook h1. And in this case, I have a checkmate. All right, so how are we shaping up with one minute left? Can we get one more game off? Casablanca? Ooh, are they playing right now? I don't know. This is going to be close because they're three points behind, and a normal win for them would win the tournament. So depending upon my... Okay, I'm going to berserk against I'm a Dirty Cheater. Okay, he's going to make it happen. Okay. This is already bizarre. <laughs> this is funny. All right, take that. Let's go here. He's just looking for the end game, isn't he? All right, take that. And he resigned. Okay. He kind of did me a favor there by resigning. He didn't prove it. <laughs> he played king e2. Yeah, I think his uh he said be right back destroying my mouse. His play got uh crazier as the tournament went along. Look at how many games he got in. That's like far and away more games than any other player. It's insane. Okay, so it looks like yeah, Casablanca did not get did they get one more game in? Nope, they didn't. So we would have won the tournament anyways, even without that win against I'm a Dirty Cheater, but that certainly helped. That was the icing on the cake. Yeah, I'm a Dirty Cheater had a rougher time than I did. You can't see that. Maybe if I scroll down a little bit. They had a rougher time than I did in my 100% Berserks bullet video. <laughs> I didn't quite lose 200 points, but I'm a Dirty Cheater did. But it's all in good fun. So we take first place. We recovered from that second round loss to Lavaz, who ended up doing very well, much higher than what their provisional rating indicated. And a victory for Rook G1, intending G4, G5. That was a lot of fun. All right, so let me know if you guys like these thematic bullet arenas. And I think when it's a, a mainline opening, like the Nidorf, it's so rich, it's cool to see the types of positions you get with both white and black. It contributes to your understanding and learning of the variation even if this is not a line that's in like my normal repertoire so thanks again for watching guys and i'll be back again soon with another video talk to you guys later